What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to start off by getting a level 30 enchantment table set up. So off camera, I got the books, I, the leather I needed, the books I needed. Ended up getting f four more diamonds or three more diamonds. Um, I made a pickaxe, got the obsidian, and I got the books and the planks. So let's go ahead and make these bookshelves and... Um, that's working. There's like five or six of them in there. I'm just going to set it here temporarily in that wall. Um, so let's go make these bookshelves and this enchantment table, shall we? So we can get this thing going. So 15 bookshelves and then the extra book left for the enchantment table. There it is, guys. We got the enchantment table. And then we got our bookshelves. I got 36 levels from like my spider farm and everything else. Let's grab some lapis. Um, I mainly want to go for fortune, to be honest. So we'll set this guy here. And we'll set these guys up. I guess we'll set this guy right here and that should be good. Should give us that level 30. It's going to give us efficiency 3. Do I want to do that and take the risk? Yeah, we're going to do it. Ah, just efficiency 3. That's a rip. Alright. That is a rip right there. Um, let's just make a crafting table so I don't have to keep running up there. I'll stick it right there. Um, how do I make the grindstone again? Where is the recipe for the grindstone? I don't think I have it unlocked yet. Which is sad, because I don't remember the recipe for the grindstone. Did that unlock it? I might have to figure that I don't remember how to make it. Um, I probably passed him just blind dang those villagers are getting annoying already <laughs> so I don't like villagers they're so annoying we got quite a bit of iron going for us all right let's head to sleep um and then I'm gonna go and figure out what that that is I for completely forgot it Alright guys, I was doing the wrong thing. It's a stone slab. Now I have the recipe unlocked, and now I can grab the grindstone. And then we can chuck it right there. Efficiency 3. If it had better stuff on it, which then just efficiency 3, I'd go for it. Oh, come on. I need silk touch, but not right now. You know what? Let's put Silk Touch on an iron one for now. Uh, uh. That is a really good pickaxe. Uh, but I wanted fortune. Whatever, we'll just keep the Silk Touch. I don't, I don't even care. That's a really good pickaxe. We we'll have fortune later. I could Silk Touch all the diamonds and then, you know, go from there. That is kind of a rip, though, because I really wanted Fortune. I really wanted Fortune 3 right there. But that's fine. We'll stick with the Silk Touch. That's still a really good pickaxe. Um, that's still a really, really good pickaxe. Kind of sucks, though, but... Oh, well. Another thing, I set up this. I don't know if I showed you guys this in the last video, but I set up this just for my seeds that I get from here. I can just throw them in there, get some bone meal. I've got quite a lot of sheep now. Um, one thing I want to start working on is reason why I wanted fortune is because I want to start working on going to the Nether, so we can get all that stuff done. But in order to do so, I want better armor. Um, this this armor is it's not that good, so I want some better armor in order to do that. But Right now, I don't have that option. 
Because I only have one diamond left. So we're going to have to get some more diamonds. So I think we're going to do... Um, I'm going to do some mining off camera, but... I did get the rest of the wall set up, and I did bring it so it did go out in the water a bit. Um, so we're going to have to terraform that up. But I think right in this area, somewhere in this area right here, we're going to end up building a squid farm. Squidding farm. Just right outside the wall. But I did get the wall set up. Um, now what I want to do as well, before I do anything crazy, before I do a bunch of mining and stuff, I want to start working on our house. Our actual house. It's going to be somewhere near the middle of, or near the entrance kind of thing. So the main entrance is going to be right there. And then somewhere around in this area, near the front-ish. Because I don't want to go too far back. Near the front-ish. So it's near this area somewhere. Um, we're going to build our little fort. Our little... Why was I going to say fortress? Our house. Right there. So let's gather some resources for that. So we can get started on building our house. Our base. Alright guys. So I started designing my house a little bit. Don't worry, this isn't going to be the final... Why did I just start lagging like crazy? Don't worry though, this isn't going to be the final um, the final look of it. I think that's actually a little too far. Um, they're going to bring it into blocks. Just like that. I'm about to restart my game. I don't know why I'm lagging right now. We'll see. But then we're going to come out this way. Let's see. One, two. So it leaves six in the middle. Six in between. Is that going to be enough? Oh, it's so close. Let's see if that's going to be, be looking good or not. Yeah, I think that's not going to be too bad. And we'll have to just go up a few blocks. And then... This is just going to be something very basic. So don't worry that it doesn't look great. It's just something we're going to use for now until we get like more resources and stuff. It's not the final, the final design. Build something a lot better later on. It's just something for now. Just until we get better resources. Um, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. like that <laughs> just like that and then we're gonna have to come out this way a few blocks I'm going to try to leave six in between again on that one. Perfect. Should be right there. Perfect. And then we'll come back a bunch of blocks. Maybe to like right about there. Right about there. So now I'll line right up there. And then we'll bring it all the way on back, like so. And then obviously we'll have to fill it in, because we'll have to come along this way. Just 
just like so all the way back and then bring this all the way back and that'll be like the basic shape of our house and we'll add, add some stuff in let's take a look at what it looks like yeah so it doesn't look too bad pretty decent size as well so I'm definitely gonna need more oak wood though I, did, I was going to use dark oak, but I decided maybe not. I think that's going to be a little too dark. Um, so she's we'll use normal oak wood. But yeah, I'm going to get a little bit of this filled in. And then we'll come on back and go from there. Alright boys, so I've been getting quite a bit of work done. As you can most likely see. Getting quite a lot of work done. Um... <laughs> I decided to go with um, dark oak for the roof. I think it's going to... It just looks a little better. And we got this little arch right here. This thing's still got a lot of work to go. Like We're going to have to add details into it later on. But right now I'm just trying to get it like basic done so I can start you know, getting everything set up in there. But I think it's looking pretty good so far. Obviously, it's going to need a lot of work to make it look, you know, better. And Why are these blocks here? These blocks are not supposed to be here. But yeah, we're getting a lot of work done. Um, just starting to work on the roof. I got to get these blocks placed. It's still got a lot we still got a lot to go on this build but I think I'm gonna take a break for a minute and do uh, something else I don't know what quite yet but I think we wanna work on something else for just a little minute maybe oh I, I did kill some more cows it's causing a lot of lag with the cows and the sheep in this area. I had quite a few of them. Let's go check on our iron farm, see how much iron we have. Maybe we need to do some mining. Okay, quite a bit of iron, not too bad. Um, yeah, we got a couple villagers in there, I don't know how quite how many. We have quite a few in there, apparently. So, yeah, we might have to start moving those guys. But, the problem is I need to get my villager trade hall area set up before I can move them in there. Um, so, that's going to take a minute. What I think I actually want to start doing is moving some of my stuff over there. But, I'm going to be doing that off camera. Um, let's go on a little adventure. So let's go put some of this stuff away and go on a little adventure. Look what we got. Hopefully they're all inside. Because I need some bees later on. And since I have silk touch, I can do it and the bees will stay inside. So I'm not super far from my base. Looks like there's a spruce forest over there. Just been going through. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of dark oak uh, surrounding my base, which is not the greatest. Main thing I'm looking for right now, or the main thing I want to find right now, is a jungle. So I can get some jungle wood, some cocoa beans, some bamboo, that kind of stuff. So hopefully, we can find that. But right now. It's a lot of dark oak and birch around my base. Yeah, there's there's a spruce. Don't really want to fall in there. I mean, it's not that hard to get out, but I don't want to fall in there. And I did bring a bed so we can sleep the night away, so I don't have to worry about a bunch of mobs spawning in and causing us problems. Looks like we got another village over here. 
and a portal. Let's take a look. Maybe we can uh, find some diamonds or something in this place. We're gonna have to start mining soon to get uh, get some more diamonds and stuff. But right now, nah. I mean, you still have to go to the end, but. Dang it, I forget. Can yeah, you could close the door then. Obsidian. I mean, we got iron. Don't really need iron, but because we got our iron farm now, which is doing pretty well. But we got iron, so stupid bed. This guy locked in his house. Hey, you're free now, bud. You are free now. There we go. Now we got a brewing stand. Bunch of wheat. Well, hay bales that you can turn into wheat, of course. Let's just grab all these. Hi, Mr. Iron Golem. How's it going? And then let's turn this into wheat. And, um, steal this bell. Let's see if I can find a farmer. You're a stonemason. You're not a farmer. I don't like you. Go away. <laughs> Do they not have a farmer at all? Or am I just blind? Because I swear I didn't see a farmer at all. Yeah, there's a cat. Maybe if I had some fish, I'd try to grab him, but... I mean, I could... I don't see a farmer. Oh well, let's get out of here. Let's get up on out of here. A lot of spruce over there. Let's run off in this direction. Yeah, be quiet, bud. If I had a saddle, I would go get one of those horses. That's they're right over there. Oh, I thought I saw more than one. Is there only one over there? No, no, there's two over there. Go try to get those guys. That's another thing I want to do is get a horse. Because I don't know... I don't know about you guys, but... I actually really never gotten horses before in this game. Like, I've done it a little bit, but I, I don't really... Use, I normally don't really use horses because... The second I get Elytra, I'm just flying everywhere, so I don't really use them for that that often or that long, and then I get my Elytra and then I just fly everywhere. But I think I might get a horse, because I don't want to quite go to the end. I want to prepare first. I want to get some stuff prepared before I go to the end uh, this time. So I want to get like a creeper farm built so I can start getting some, some gunpowder. I want to get a auto, a pretty good auto sugarcane farm for paper. Like I want to get some, I want to get some stuff before I head off into the end. I want to get some stuff prepared, so that way, like also I want to get like a mending villager and an unbreaking three villager, so I can get mending and unbreaking three on my elytra right when I get it and stuff like that. Like I just want to get some stuff prepared before I head on into the end I think it'll just be a little bit better that way instead of getting my elytra and then coming back and not being able to use it because I don't have mending or I'm breaking or rockets I want to get all of that stuff before I have to head off is there really no jungles close by what is that no, it's just part of the mountain it looked like it was fences or something up there that was weird. My eyes playing tricks on me again. 
But I'm not in a rush to go to the end in this series on this world. I'm not. I just want to take it easy and, you know. I don't want to rush. Especially because I don't want to get killed by the Ender Dragon. <laughs> and then when I go to the end cities, you know, once I find my first elytra, I can do some mass end raiding because I'll just be able to fly around, fly around with my elytra, and I can use some um, XP bottles. I can ha have some XP bottles in order to repair my elytra. They don't give you a lot of XP, but they'll repair my elytra pretty quick. So. Just buy a whole bunch of those off a of villager, and I can just repair my elytra on the go if I need to. But of course, we're gonna need diamond armor and all of that diamond, all of that diamond, diamond goodiness. All right, um, I guess I'll just keep running, see what I can. All right, guys, so um, pretty far away from my pace at this point couple thousand blocks but I finally found a desert there's probably some other ones but I found a desert so it's gonna be good we're gonna be able to pick up some uh, some sand and some cactus just need a couple pieces of cactus and start a cactus farm but I'm gonna pick up some sand here still haven't found a jungle which is annoying but get some cactus we can get some sand as well maybe there'll be a temple here I'm not sure hopefully but we can get this cactus so we can get a cactus farm going so we can get some green dye let's go over that way because I don't see anything over here so let's go over that way it's a pretty big desert too, which would be good. Would be good. It's not good. <laughs> it's not that good, but it would be good um, if it was closer, a little bit closer to my base, because I could get a lot of sand from here. Still no jungle, which is the main reason why I came out was to. Um, The main reason I came out was to find a jungle so I can get some uh, some cocoa beans, some jungle saplings, and some bamboo. And I have not found any of that, which is kind of annoying and not the greatest. But hopefully, eventually, <laughs> we'll find one. That's not 60,000 blocks away. Ooh, ice spikes by them. Nice. Not that that really matters to me, but... That's good. There's an ice spike by them right there. Just in case. Let's just grab the coordinates. I don't think I'm going to really need it, but let's grab the coordinates anyways. Because who knows? Maybe I'll need it. Maybe if I want some ice later. Ooh, some turtles. I could actually make shears too. My fucking inventory is so full though. My inventory is so full. But here I can get some turtle eggs to take back home with me. If I just breed these guys, get some turtle eggs. So I could take some turtle eggs back home. <laughs> it's so funny, I love it. Just they go crazy when they're in here just laying their eggs. We'll sit here for a second. That's a looks like a decent sized ice spike biome too. It's still going over there. So 
Sorry, but uh, I'm gonna steal your eggs. So I need to take this home with me so I can uh, start a little turtle farm. Yeah, it's a pretty big ice spike biome. Should have grabbed my boat. That's so. Oh, I did grab my boat. Nice. Come on, I just want a jungle. That's all I want. It's just a little jungle. All right, guys. I'm a little disappointed. As you could probably tell on my adventure, I was heading back, and I died. Um, so I got all kitted up. I went back out there. But it took me a little too long to find a spot. I eventually found the spot where I died. Basically, I fell into a ravine. And my stuff was gone. So now... I mean, it wasn't a ton of stuff. It was just my pickaxe and my bee's nest. That I'm more worried about. Mainly just the pickaxe, but... You know, I had a full inventory of stuff, so that kind of sucks. And I had like 28 or 30 levels, something like that. So I'm a little mad, but it is what it is. It's fine. I'm just gonna come make me some new stuff. So I had to make some wooden stuff to. Why does it do that when I click? I had to make some wooden stuff. Um. So now I gotta make um make some stuff again, which is fine. Which means I gotta make all my armor again and do all that. But it's fine. We'll we'll make it work. We we weren't too far. It wasn't amazing stuff that we had. So we'll get through it and we'll be all right. The main problem, another main problem too with that, is all my food. I had like 40 pieces of meat. And now I guess I'm going to have to eat some apples for a minute. I do have other food. I don't know how, how much and what of. Um, a little bit of uncooked food. Okay, I got a decent amount of mutton that I can use. But yeah. Well, I think we're going to finish up our base in the our our base in the next video. You know, finish up the roof, finish up the walls. Um, and yeah, I'm going to start moving our stuff in, but let's go take a look at it, where we're at now. Um, it doesn't, it's, it's coming along pretty well. I think what I'm going to have, um, in the, f I believe, I don't know if I want to do it in the front or the back, but in the roof, in the roof up there, I want to have a part that sticks out, so when you're in the attic, you can... It sticks out and you can see the area. I don't know if I want to do that in the front or the back yet. But then you can like look out if you're in the attic. I don't know. We'll see. But we're going to go ahead and end this one here guys. So hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.